Well, new information is emerging about a brazen attack at a local nursing home. Police say Lushan Erland got in, in through an unlocked door and raped an 88 year old patient in her bed. 10 News reporter Jennifer De La Cruz is joining us and Jen, you found out that he has a long criminal history. That's right, Lindsay. Prosecutors say Arline was out on parole when he allegedly raped that 88 year old woman the other night. They say he had only been out of prison for three days for committing another crime very similar to this one. 48 year old Lushan Arline is back in handcuffs after what prosecutors call 30 years of criminal conduct. This time accused of raping an 88 year old woman inside a nursing home. The victim has significant memory impairment and she was a resident at that facility. The DA says he got in through an unlocked door at Balboa Nursing and Rehabilitation. The roommate actually woke up and saw the suspect lying on top of our 88 year old victim. Uh, the suspect was completely naked and the uh, victim had been disrobed as well. Our line was able to get away but left evidence at the scene. Police were able to match his DNA, which led to an arrest. When the crime took place October 27th, Arline had only been out of prison for three days. The defendant is on parole for a 2017 residential burglary, which involved him exposing himself, uh, again, uh, exposing himself nude to other elder victims. His long rap sheet includes other charges of drugs and theft, but this case may be the most disturbing. This case represents the absolute depths of humanity. It's, it's the worst case scenario. You can imagine and empathize with the victim, the victim's family, for anyone who has a relative that's in a nursing home. 10 News reached out to the nursing home who tells us all of their doors were locked at the time. Prosecutors say that's not the case. Uh, this is a unusual case in that there's a complete stranger who is the suspect. He had no ties to that facility. We believe at this time that he did uh, gain access to that facility through an unlocked door. Now that victim was taken to the hospital and treated for a broken arm. Our line faces a life behind bars if convicted. Reporting live downtown, Jennifer Delacruz, 10 News.